Hello, welcome back to Europa Universalis 3, where quite a few years have passed since the last episode, I believe decades have passed. So, um, while no war has happened, it has been far from being eventful, the time in between. Um, first things first, I did the religion shift to Protestant finally. I felt like there wasn't really any any reasonable goal and the Brandenburg provinces were still rebelling at the time so I thought if I don't do it now I'll always find an excuse to not do it so I made the sh I made the change right now I'm kind of trying to realign all provinces to Protestant which has progressed but is not entirely done yet anyway there's that uh, at the same time because I pretty much lost all my allies when I made the change. I only kept like the, the my vassals and whatever allies I made after that. Strangely enough my first ally was Sweden but they were already in war and they lost quite a bit against Novgorod so a few years later they just they just tapped out of the alliance for some reason, I'm not entirely sure why. Now they're actually warring against someone I've been grooming to be uh, a new vassal. Pomerania, so I think now now that enough is enough, and I'm gonna go to war with them in order to protect um, Pomerania. So let's actually do that now. Oh, uh, wait a second. Uh, do that. Um, possibly Denmark and or Trier will also join in the war on Swedish side. Especially Trier would be interesting because Trier is a elector who so far have been voting for me because I'm the only other um, Protestant and um, you know if you're, if you're a Protestant you want to vote for a Protestant Emperor obviously. So um, technically I have two votes right now. Saxony because they're my vassal and for some reason they by themselves decided to also go Protestant and Trier if we go to war now maybe I can just you know vassalize them too by force who knows we'll see so Denmark one of the military lines the revolts in Hinto Pomon of course and lots of spy action yeah sure be surprised Poland, yeah. Always getting spies like all oh, the friggin' time. It's bloody ridiculous at this point. I know there's a lot of people that don't particularly like me, but. Alright. That army's gone. On to the next, then. And deal with both of these. Wait a sec. I have a lot of tuck bows again, so I probably don't want to fight their fleet. Which is a shame. Maybe if I find, you know, smaller segments of them, but. Right now, I don't really want to fight them. Because we're probably going to lose that particular engagement. Anyway, since I'm the only one in the fight, I can deal with the opposition in a way I see fit. Uh... Sweden apparently has issues just getting forces over here, and that has already been sieged by Friesland and Pomerania, weirdly enough. You know? It's a kind of... Kind of a weird situation. So... What else can I do? I either have to walk all the way around... Or here, siege Jylland, maybe? 
Maybe that'll draw their army out. Be certain that'll, that's gonna draw their army. Why do what are you going what are you do going there? I mean, probably give us military access. Yeah, we have access with Hanza. Right, good choice. There's also other people in the war with, against Sweden, at least. Denmark is only at war with us, but they also have another war going with Naples and Holland. So, um, I think we're in a decent enough spot. Though a lot of, though a lot depends on what kind of army Trier has. Maybe I just want to focus on them first before I, you know, march all the way up here. Well, let's see if we can't draw some of them out. My direction, interestingly enough. Uh, one other thing that I failed to mention with them, just uh, remembering here. For some reason I managed to get into a personal union for what remains of England. You no, know, I had a royal marriage with them, and it's and the Protestant, and apparently there weren't too many people having royal marriages with them. So for some reason, you know, I just thought, you know, let, let's have that Prussian guy rule England. You know, just just Lincoln and London. Um, apparently I can t I can integrate it into Prussia in fifty years, but uh, fifty years is quite some time. That freaking fleet always just falling between Skan and Urzon. What's what's the plan here? Every plan. Yes, if 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 I'm here, they're not coming out with it, with those ships. There's their fleet coming back. Where's your army, man? I could use one of my spies. Damn, that's it. that's why my spy defense suffers. Uh, because of free trade. I see. Anyway, probably still infiltrate their administration. The death is pretty high though. If I want to use one of my very valuable spies for that. <sighs> I mean, I would like to know what kind of, you know, force I'm looking at there. If it might be worth just going there first, deal with them, and then turn here. I'm not really sure where the Danish army is. So far, we haven't been seeing any. Uh, 
Other than that, I used to, used to invest quite a bit of money into, um, you know, building buildings, including a university in Königsberg and also in Riga, I believe. I believe the one in Riga was, you know, I, I just had a, um, a mission that, that told me to build one. The one in Ostpreußen I built so that I could do a um, uh, a national decision which basically established schools. Um, what I did that for. What point is there really to siege Denmark right now? Because that, that, that might just end the war if I do that. Oh. Actually here. You know, waiting for them to come. So you can see it. Um, maybe I'm a little bit incisive here, but I think there's really no reason the more I think about it. We're 50% now, so we might as well just finish, but we should probably prepare ourselves to move here. So I could use this war as a pretext to, to totally uh to to vassalize them, I take it. Also with war against other people. Um might be good 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 time to do that. But I don't particularly like not being able to use my fleet here because, you know, the Danish have so many sm small boats. Ah, uh, well, I guess I could have also built lots of small boats, but... Those small boats are gonna be become obsolete in, rather s in, in a few years. So I'm not particularly fond of b building them. Aristocrats, grateful for a favor. Okay. Oh, I didn't mention that either. Sorry. We also changed our form of government from before we had a feudal monarchy, now we have administrative monarchy. The main benefit is that there's a little bit less time between policy changes and also we have a higher production efficiency. Which results in quite a significant amount of income now coming from, you know, production. Which is good. So, um, might be quicker if we could go. Raymond has outrageously refused this access. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna go. Oh, they're also Protestant. Okay. One more potential buddy. No? All right. Move on. I'll keep some troops in reserve in case they try and do a landing. So I'm not just caught uh, with my with my little pants down. Sweden is just resieging it for Denmark. <laughs> well, it makes you happy.
a little bit worried about Lithuania just deciding now would be a good time to attack, which it probably would be. Player has an army from Trier. Laying siege to Frankfurt. Alright, let's deal with them. Don't have access to Frankfurt. Maybe. I'm trying to, you know, save your ass. Have allow decided to allow it. Well, good, good choice. Retreating to mines. Meanwhile, you can start going over here, laying siege to that. They want to retake Yoland, um, they can spend their time doing that, I guess. And I accepted peace with the. Uh, already sieging that. I don't need to particularly help Hassan sieging here, so I guess I can move my main army back to Yiland to keep whomever's trying to take it busy. White piece, yeah, I, don't have, I have no particular problem with you as long as you stop attacking Pomerania. Which at the moment you're not doing. I have control over one of your provinces, so probably the terms are in their favor for the time being. So I guess I'm not gonna bother with you anymore. Wait, the, I'm also not sieging here. God friggin' damn it. I'm still gonna keep an army around here. Um. Because probably because we're all sieging separately, each one will probably try and take just a little bit of something. So, in order for me to go with, to go through with the whole vassalization plan, I need to keep an army here to just re-siege it the moment they make peace with someone. Um, well, probably don't need the entire army for that though. So they might have, you know. Good fortifications. Uh, let's just keep everything here, I guess. Second. A naval battle here. Do rather even. Uh, admit to rather even fleets, so maybe. Well, I'm not at war with Sweden anymore. Find that. Now they're landing in Pomerania again. Oh. Well.
They could just try and get their army back, you know, but kind of peace terms they'll they'll do. They control some of their provinces and Yeah, I'll try and siege some of theirs. Guessing they're not just gonna let me pass here. Danish fleet just has to move out, right. Hmm. I could technically go all the long way around, but I don't really want to. Let's just sit here, I guess. Take my smaller army and go all the way around there, but they might just get wiped out, you know, with just 9,000 people. situation anyway let's speed this up a little so far nothing interesting is happening you could that siege could you know hold out for the city can hold out for years oh yeah No. Why would I want to do that? Your war exhaustion is, you know, probably gonna, gonna, gonna prove to be a little bit of problem in a, in a year or two. While I'm not levying war taxes or anything, you know, and you haven't attacked anything from me, so we, we could just sit this out, you know. Want to do that? Then pretty sure time's on my side. We just put it out. Oh, I'm still no. I'm sieging. The hell, Frankfurt! What the hell are you doing? You started the siege and then all of a sudden decided to move out. At least the siege is progressing now, though. So. Ottoman ship doing here. get reasonable pause anyway now we have that let's check if there's still a siege going on in Trier or not there is we accept a peace with Frankfurt now though so I'll just Start besieging that, you know. I've been in these situations before, you know, especially 
When you have war in uh, the Holy Roman Empire with lots of smaller partners, some might just, you know, take one province and then just say, okay, I'll just get 50 ducats and we'll have peace or whatever, whatever the peace deal was. So, um, you know, I, I just know not to expect them to just uh, stay where they are. The Ottomans are here for... Deal? Alright. But Castile just uh, found some troops. Okay. And so gen the generously given right to military access they've been given by us. Do what to attack Bohemia. You do technically have reconquest causes belly on me. Because of Breslau. Well, if that happens, that might be interesting indeed, because they also have a pretty large army. And I might bring friends. Ugh. Get off real quick. I'll make a false marginalization, probably. They're too big. It really is mine's a sovereign state, but it's not particularly... Well, that's, not, that's not particularly interesting, either. Okay. I'll probably Hesse will try to make peace with them. Let's already make preparations to touch the future regiment here. Already move over here. So if they don't want to fight for this province, I better go here so that I'm prepared in case Bohemia decides to attack. Poland declared war. Poland declared war. Moldavia. England has joined our war. Oh, Lux Lauenburg, Meissen, Pomerania. Novgorod is also with Poland. Like Poland start a war. I mean, they don't really have much. All right, that whole situation just got a whole lot more complicated. So Novgorod apparently just came out of a long war. It is it has stability minus two, so they might not be able to do that much. Dave is also not very big, so I think we can handle this. Need to probably end that that war over here, even if the terms are not quite what I imagine them to be because the other thing is you know more serious because it's right at our doorstep yeah right try and finish the siege in Koblenz can already move back though
Energy Release Mines. Um, don't have money. Not gonna get anything more out of that than mines. That I would need to totally, to totally, maybe, maybe if, if we take control of all of their provinces, we might get that, but I kind of doubt it. So let's just these mines. Done with it. All right. Two. Oh, po oh, no, Denmark. Probably not gonna give me that, right? <laughs> not that I'm interested, you know, but... Would like to settle the state of Gotland, you know, at some point. Uh, even just a little bit of money is also apparently not something you want to do. Fine. And then that's a freaking white piece. Alright, uh, I think I'm gonna wrap up this episode here, but in the next one apparently we now have a war against Poland and Moldavia and Novgorod, which is particularly interesting because I have a claim on Novgorod's capital because of a random event. I very much doubt I can just claim it because it's still their capital, and I don't believe you can claim on you you, you can you can settle claims on capitals one way or the other, but it would technically be interesting to imagine getting that. Anyway, I will see more of that next time. Have a good one.